141 and 107 run with the complimentary plays after winners the past two nights in college football. South Florida easily over Cincinnati last night and Texas State and a game that probably put you to sleep on Thursday night, getting the job done against UL Monroe. I've got three free selections. They're all on the late night Saturday card coming up in just a moment. San Diego State and UNLV, San Jose State and Hawaii, and the game between Colorado and Washington State. This being Saturday, you know the drill, guys. Each and every Saturday for the past four-plus years, I've given you a money-saving discount coupon code that could potentially save you hundreds of dollars off your total purchase price, and today is no different. You can save 23% off your total purchase today simply by using coupon code 23%, 23-P-E-R-C-E-N-T. Now, again, that saves you 23% off your total purchase price. It's a mix-and-match coupon, which means you can use it for any combination of handicappers, picks, and or packages. The only stipulation, it's a one-time usage coupon, which means you have to put everything in your shopping cart at one time. Uh, you can't come in and get uh, the latest monster play from Trace Adams. I'm going to tell you about it in just a moment. And two hours later, come in and try to get the uh, fourth ever 20 dime release in college football of my career that goes on Saturday night. Everything in your shopping cart at one time to maximize your savings with that coupon code 23%. If you already happen to be involved in a long term package with a particular handicapper, you can extend it going forward by taking that 23% discount. If you have any instant rebates, they're applicable as well. A lot of hat handicappers here at the site. Trace Adams today going for winning day number 27 out of 39 and 10 out of 11. 4-0 this week with 2,000-star your wager releases because, remember, 1,000-star plays is normal top-rated release. Hit 2,000-star plays last Sunday on the Chiefs hammering the Broncos in Denver. Monday night, you got it for half price with the Texans outright over undefeated Cincinnati on the road. Came back on Tuesday night with Toledo outright over Bowling Green, half price winner. Central Michigan on Wednesday night, half price winner. Last night, a raised the bar 1500 star release number 16 out of 21 South Florida another one last Saturday with Oklahoma over Baylor well today he has a play that's bigger than all six of those winners and it's his biggest play of the entire college football season one and only 2500 star game of the year it's your ACC game of the year Pittsburgh and Louisville the side you get it for half price simply by using coupon code Half, H-A-L-F. Uh, quick props going out to uh, Scott Delaney. Uh, last night, 100 dime winner easily with uh, Boise State. I'm sorry, Air Force, the double-digit dog winning outright at Boise. You got that play for $39, saving 60 off the regular price. Same thing goes today. His 100 dime college football winner number 10 out of 13 is Mac Game of the Year, Akron and Buffalo. As he goes for winning day number 6 out of 7, just like last night, you save by using coupon code 100DIMES, 100-D-I-M-E-S. Um... Listen, $10 bettors with his 50 dime plays or higher have won over 34 grand over the past four years in all sports. And those 100 dime releases, he's on a 93 and 63 run the past four years in all sports. Gabriel DuPont came off his first 100 dime release of the college, uh, actually ever in NBA action last night with the Charlotte Hornets pounding Philadelphia by like 25 points, I think it was. Today, first ever 150 dime college football release of his career. He joined the site here. Uh, February of 2014, right after the Super Bowl. Well, today, first of 150 dime college football lock. He's made ten dollar betters 2,700 the past ten days, uh, six days. He's made them over 24 grand with 50 dime plays or higher in all sports since they debuted at the site. And since thanks, uh, last Thanksgiving. He's made $10 betters over 13000 Today, first ever 150-dime college football release of his career. It's South Alabama and Georgia State. You save $70 by using coupon code GABE150, G-A-B-E-150. As for me, I lost with a small play on California last night. Uh, could not follow up the five-dime winner I had with Jacksonville on Thursday night. Listen, the past eight Saturdays, two months' worth of action here in college football, I've won six out of eight. 15 dime releases, which are my normal top rated plays, which don't sound big compared to DuPont's 150 dimer and Trace Adams' 2500 uh, star lock. But again, 99.9% .9 of my plays are rated between 10 and 5, uh, 5 and 15 dimes because I like a very narrow range so you know exactly how much I like a play. Well, tonight, in the fourth time ever, I've got a 20 dime release in college football. Yeah, fourth time ever since I started these sites over 13 years ago. That's how much I like uh, the game between Baylor and Oklahoma State tonight. And uh, you can save $60 by using the coupon code, my last name, DeMarco, which I 
think you know how to spell if you're watching the video on my homepage right now. So we'll give you a mulligan on that one. Okay, let's get to the complimentary plays here, guys. I'll run these in reverse chronological order. The last game on the board is going to be, time-wise, the San, uh, San Jose State game at Hawaii. San Jose State is an 11-point favorite. They have come off two heartbreaking losses. They lost 17-16 at home to BYU a few Fridays ago. Then they lost in overtime 37-33 at uh, Nevada, 37-34 at Nevada last week. They need to win out in order to become bowl eligible. They can take a positive step in that direction by taking care of business against Hawaii tonight. A Hawaii team which, of course, fired Norm Chow about a month ago, the interim replacement, well, He's lost all three of his games as well. They just got pounded at home. Hawaii did 42-14 by a bad Fresno team. After that, or previous to that, they lost 41-21 at UNLV and 58-7 at home to Air Force. A uh, couple of um, trends to note in those three games. All three opponents, Fresno State, UNLV, and Air Force, ran the ball right down Hawaii's gut. Hawaii, not a very good defensive team. Injury riddled team as well. A team that allows 253 plus yards per game to opponents' uh, running attacks. They've allowed 30 rushing touchdowns this year, which is just an astounding number when you think about it. Well, San Jose State has a very good running back in Tyler Irvin. They also have a quarterback who's a dual threat, whose name escapes me, Potter. Um, I think San Jose State gets the job done, and I think it's going to be rather easy tonight by 17 points or more. San Diego State, speaking of 17 points, that's how much the Aztecs are laying at UNLV. You know, I think the running reps, the long season has finally caught up to them. A lot of injuries as well. Uh, their defense just totally collapsed last week uh, at Colorado State, um, and it was a real flat game for them as well. And the Rams ran for 325 yards against them. That's a telling statistic because San Diego State, they let you know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to run the ball. They're going to run the ball. They're going to run the ball. Maxwell Smith, the former Kentucky quarterback who's now their starting signal caller, he's more of just a game manager. He's not much of a passer. Doesn't matter. The San Diego State team has won six in a row straight up and against the spread. They're right there on the verge of representing the West in the Mountain West Conference in the championship game. Um... I think they get the job done here with ease. I don't think 17, to, 17 points is a big number for them to lay, considering their defense has been so stout. They've only allowed 62 points total in that six games straight up, an ATS winning streak. Again, UNLV is coming off a 49-35 loss at Colorado State. Uh, Blake Decker, their starting quarterback, is doubtful for this game. I think Daniel uh, Pumphrey, the San Diego State uh, top running back, uh, who's already run for 1,171 yards and also happens to be their top receiver as well, has a big game for a team that's averaging 222 yards on the ground and 4.7 yards a carry. So I have no issues with uh, laying the points with San Diego State. Also remember this, UNLV has become a run-oriented team this year, a balanced offense, but they like to run the most. This San Diego State team is giving up just 102 five. 102.5 yards per game on the ground. That translates to three yards a carry. And they're tough to pass against, too, because, you know, they use that 4-2-5 defense. They're a ball-hawking defense. They've got 16 interceptions. They've got, uh, they forced 24 turnovers as well. Again, I think San Diego State rolls in this game. Now, your final play is going to be Washington State. Uh, did the Cougars give up a ton of yards last week against UCLA? You bet you they did. I mean, that team uh, was lucky to win last week at UCLA. But here's the deal. They won at UCLA. They have won six of their last seven games. The lone loss was that heartbreaker to Stanford at home. Actually, they've won five of their last six games. Won 31 to 27 at UCLA last week because the Bruins put up 554 yards, but it wasn't enough. I don't see Colorado putting up those type of yards, especially with their starting quarterback who broke his foot in the USC loss at home two Fridays ago, being out for this game, and they're starting a uh, redshirt freshman instead. Yeah, he had some success against USC, uh, going 18 for 23 with a couple of touchdown passes, but only 128 yards, and the offensive line allowed him to be sacked five times. If this game comes down, as most games do with Washington State, matching Mike Leach's air raid offense point for point, well, who would you rather have? The team playing at home with seven straight covers with quarterback Luke Falk, who's already thrown 35 touchdown passes this season versus just eight interceptions and over 4,000 yards. Or the team on the road that lost the tone finale despite a valiant effort against USC and is going with a redshirt freshman quarterback making his first start. Exactly. 
I'll take Washington State, noting also that Colorado was 1-6 and six, uh, in Pac-12 play this season, almost said Pac-10. And uh, the only one coming at lowly, Oregon State, which doesn't do much for me. Home finale for the Cougars, and I like them in this game. So, three double-digit chalks. I'm going to go with Washington State at home, San Diego State at UNLV, and San Jose State in Hawaii. That'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all, and I'll catch you again tomorrow when we do this one more time.